Hello and good morning. This is your Daily Pick Tarot reading from Tarot and Coffee with Olivia, and that's me. Um, today is May 11th, Monday, the day after Mother's Day. Um, and we hope you got your coffee ready, because we're going to get into this uh, fairly soon. I will start with um, my good putting some good energy out into the world and reading a Hopi poem that I actually got from a friend on Instagram who is, she's called The Poetry Minute, and she posts poetry that you can read in a minute. Um, I knew her, I know her in person too, and she often has a poem or two in her pocket or handbag, and she also likes to give away pocket poems, which I've carried many in my pocket before and brought them out to read them as as needed. Poetry is good medicine for some. So here we go. Hopi prayer. Hold on to what is good, even if it's a handful of earth. Hold on to what you believe, even if it's a tree that stands by itself. Hold on to what you must do, even if it's a long way from here. Hold on to your life, even if it's easier to let go. Hold on to my hand, even when I've gone away from you. And there I add a little moment of silence. Because I know that a lot of us have people that have gone away from us. And... That can be a really poignant and sad time of grief. And I think that pretty, w pretty much goes well with our card reading today. As I place the cards, I did peek at them, so I kind of have an idea of what we've got in store for you today. Um... And I have some new, well, not new, I have some uh, big white crystal on the right today, which I haven't used very often. And, you know, I did try to look this up, and all I got was big white crystal. Um, <laughs> then we also have the snail shell, snail shell here. Just a tiny one. Can represent a lot of things. Shyness being one. Security is another. This one, from what I can tell, is a metamorphic rot, rock. It may be called a green schist. But I'm not positive on that. I'll put that right there. And then we have our howl light here. This, why is, there we go, there's a focus. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but that marbling is kind of greenish. So, now's the time to pick your card, pick your stone, do any, meeny, miny, mo, however you like to pick your card. Some people like to put their hand over the screen and feel the energy. To me, I just feel a lot of energy coming from the screen. I can't tell what's what. It's a bit overwhelming, but static electricity, whatever. Um, so I think I'd like to start, well, I think I'm going to start on the left with the Howlite. So if this is the stone that you picked, I am going to pull your card out now. And I dropped it on the floor and spilled my coffee. <laughs> All right, five of cauldrons, that is not the happiest of cards. Um, so this card represents um, a lot of things. It can be representing gaining the dis experience of 
failure or defeat, meaning sometimes we have to fail or be defeated in order to have a breakthrough. That's, that's a happy way to say that this is a very sad card about regret. It could be, it's, it's some kind of misfortune. It could even be a loveless marriage. That's something that some cards like to say when this card comes up. But one of the things that I like to say when this card comes up is to stop focusing on the negative and find a way to be grateful for something. Now, that sounds much easier said than done, but I will say that I read the book Night and I will, t oh, who is the author? The author is, shoot, I'm going to have to put it in the comments. Um, there's hope everywhere. There's a bright side for everything. And hope is oftentimes what help, makes us live beyond what our body's capacity is. So it really is okay to have hope and to take a break from the negative. It's really okay to do that. And that's your card today, the Five of Cauldrons. And I'm sorry, it's not always good news when I put the cards out. But that's, that's the way it is. C'est la vie, as they say. So now we're going to move on to the metamorphic rot that rock that may, I keep calling it a rot um, that may be called a green schist, and I'll show it to you up close because it's quite beautiful. Let me try to get it to be focused on. It's got a lot of beautiful colors. It's very nice rock, very nice, and we're going to turn over your card. And the Three of Swords. Um, this is not going to be the best day for everybody. And I'm sorry to say, these are hard times. And this card is a heartache card. It's a, it's a heartbreak card. Um, there's nothing to say for it but to feel your feelings and to feel your grief. And one day you'll find a way to move on. Don't be afraid to move on when it's time. Don't be afraid to cut loose, even though it's going to hurt. Cut loose all the way. End it completely if it's still flailing. Your relationship that's causing heartache. What else can I say about this card? I guess the other thing I would have to say about this card is to try to find hope where you can. And hopefully it won't take a lot of time for this to pass for you, but it may. So hang in there. Now remember, this is just a daily reading, so there really is nothing to be afraid of, as you are the master of your own destiny, except when you're not, and that's when it's time to let go and let God, as they say. And we have the snail shell here. Uh, the snail shell, to me, is a symbol of perfect mathematics. I mean, I don't know. It's it's more than just being vulnerable and shy. It has more to do with self-sufficiency and um, perfection of nature. That's what it symbolizes to me. We're going to turn over your card now. And I'm hoping it's better it is. We've got the King of Pentacles. So what we have here is 
he may be you. He may be someone in your life. Um, but he is very successful. Generous, strong. He's the guy that gets the girl most of the time. Leader. Sometimes he's a lawyer. But basically, if you've gotten this card today, it would show that you're a hard worker. It would show that you're good in business. And it would show that today would be a good deal, good day for some business deals. Keep your head level as it is and, and go ahead and power through and enjoy your power and enjoy your, uh, and, you know, now's a good time to improve your leadership skills. Now's a good time to um, learn more about business, but also to make a good business deal today. Be loyal to your friends. That's a, a very positive card to have today. This is a be the strong one card today. And I don't, let's see if I have anything. I don't really feel anything. Let me have a sip of my coffee and think on this. You know, I'm really getting the, it's not another person, it's you. And I want you to see yourself as this king of pentacles today. See yourself as a strong, successful person. A generous person with a generous heart. Someone who stands with his people. And is very loyal. So now on to the big fat crystal. We're going to turn your card over. And what we have is the two of swords. It's not, this isn't a bad card. This is just a, a card about an inner conflict. It's usually something that's going on within you. However, I would not be surprised if you met with a quarrel or two today with others. It's kind of a grappling or a, a, a almost like a maybe even a congenial argument if it's on the outside. Um, uh, like sparring, like a learning experience, like debating. However, I do want you to think about some choices that you might have today. You might be mulling over some choices, and that is a reflection that of this card today, that you have some choices to make. Use your intuition. Tune into your psychic abilities to garner information in order to make that decision. Say a prayer. Speak to your higher power. Do some meditation or yoga, running. I know a lot of people have trouble with meditation uh, because they may be ADD. I hear a lot of that. Um, but I want, I'm here to say that meditation does not have to be sitting still. It can definitely be movement. You can uh, throwing the cards is a kind of meditation. And if you set up a stand-up station somewhere in your house, if you have some cards, and start learning to, to lay them out and lay them down and read them, and you can do it passing, you know, on your way to the kitchen. Stop at the table and look at the cards. Go ahead and let yourself be ADD, but take some time to ha learn some meditative practices that you can do on the run, because that is a possibility. Um, I forgot to talk about timestamps earlier, mainly because I wrote it on, I wrote the format on my paper wrong that I have here, um, but in the comments I'm putting timestamps so you don't have to skip, so you don't have to go through everybody's reading, you can skip ahead to your own, and I just very much want to thank you for watching, I really appreciate all the, all the 
plays that my videos are getting. I hope they're helping you. I would love to hear some feedback. I've had some, some young people let me know that they would like to know what's going to happen with their graduation and what's going to happen with their prom. Um, obviously, at this point, you know what I mean by young people. Um, if that's a question you'd like answered, go ahead and let me know in the comments. We can, uh, rephrase, you can rephrase it if you want, if you want to make it more explicit. Um, if you have other questions that you might want to have answered, um, they'll be different than your daily pick readings because these daily pick readings I'm doing every day. And I'm certainly happy to, um, give away more content, um, as my business grows and I'm going to put all my links down in the comment too so that you can um, see what else I have to offer I am open for business for personal readings and again like I said thank you for coming this morning I really appreciate you you have a wonderful wonderful day even though I see a lot of you are going to be struggling love you bye